So you're shooting real estate videos and you want white walls. Well, today I'm going to give you a few tips on exactly how to get that really nice, clean, white interior. Makes everything really pop and stand out and adds, adds some nice contrast with the colors. Took me years to figure this out, but I'm just going to give it all away to you right now. I actually didn't go as hard on this like really clean white interior look on this particular house just because of how how modern and new it was, the way that the furniture uh, and styling framed the house. I decided to not go as hard on it, but let's push it as hard as we can go just to um, just to see what we can do here. So this is my inside grade and I've been working for a very long time to get this uh, node structure set up and you can purchase my cheeky little node structure course in the description if you like what you have to see here and you're a little bit too lazy to build it yourself. Uh, it's only $50, crazy amount of value in there if you ask me. But the first thing is first and it's obviously really important where this node is in terms of your node structure. Uh, but this saturation versus saturation curve. Now you can see me turning that on and off has a huge effect on the walls there. And now let's jump in and see what that's doing. We're gonna go over to this guy down here in the uh, curves and we're gonna go the sat v sat. And you can see what I'm doing there. Uh, just adding two curves, gonna delete it, put it back on. Now you can push this as hard as you want. See, like that can be really clinical um, or you can, you know, Put it there and add another little little dent there. See that looks quite intense there. And in fact, I could have done that, and I do do that on some shoots. Um, you know, that really adds that nice like white contrasty look. But, and so that just rolls off the saturation on the lows and the highs. Obviously, there's not many highs to desaturate there. You can obviously see all the information there. That's uh, that's one of the biggest keys to get them nice white interiors. Uh, now a second one, well, like let's stack them, shall we? So let's just say that we decide to go that hard. Uh, and then on this uh, this this wall, uh, what have I called the what have I called the node here, buddy? Can't see the node label. Wall desaturation. Obviously, that's what we're doing here. Uh, alrighty, so take a guess what this is. Can you see? I'm um, turning that on, turn that off. Again, that just adds that really nice white clinical look. Depending on the house you're going for, sometimes it can be a little bit too much. Again, we're pushing it quite hard today. Uh, and this is just a simple window. So turn the window off, turn the window on, right? You can see if it's, if it's turned off, it's desaturating everything. So that's just a window. Set it up however you want. Make a big, small effect, whatever you want. Uh, and then we're going into here, and we're just going to see, look, we're just desaturating some of the yellows. So let's resaturate them. And again, that's only affecting that area and then we'll desaturate them. Now you can go even harder. Let's go crazy. How wide is that? It's very wide. It's a little too wide, actually, if you ask me. So, but yeah, just a touch. Uh, often what I find a huge tip as well is that sometimes, you know, your eyes can play tricks on you. So you push an effect and you think it looks good, but generally if you back it off 10 to 20%, that's gonna actually give you the look you want. Because more often than not, you know, I'll, I'll apply effect. And then as I'm editing and grading the rest of the clips, when I come back to it, I'm like, oh, it's too much and then you have to back it off anyway. So just in my workflow, I just kind of like get it to the point where I think it looks sick, dial it back a little bit. Uh, just generally, the third big tip is get your white balance correct. Now I'm shooting black magic, so you have to set that correctly. If you're shooting all mirrorless cameras, there's a couple of things you can do to figure out how to get nail your white balance right, but that's really important as well. Give the camera some time to figure out what the white balance is before you take the shot. Don't just run from room to room taking shots. Um, and yeah, obviously in, with Blackmagic, I can change my white balance if I want to. Bang, bang, that's right. It's uh, it's 2050 and the sun is killing us all. And uh, so I've got to really desaturate the yellows on this one. I'm joking. So first, third and final tip, I've just desaturated the yellows in some of the whole, uh, the whole area here. So that's just the whole clip before we even get into anything else. Uh, and again, color grade, this is another tip. It's, it's about pushing and pulling. Uh, and essentially you've got a particular amount of information in the image depending on which camera you're working with. Obviously Blackmagic, I shoot on as much information as I can get so that I have more room and more information that I can push and pull. Uh, and a lot of people, they they just push or they just pull. Uh, but I'm actually doing a lot of stuff in here where I'm counteracting some of the measures I've just showed you here and that really adds to this effect here. So that's that kind of push-pull of color grading. And yeah, hopefully you've gotten a lot of value out of this clip. So let's just see, we'll take that and apply it to another cheeky little little guy here. See, look, that really makes it, you know, look nice and clinical. And it's a little bit too much on that kitchen because it's not quite, oh, oh, that's the adjustment clip. There you go. So yeah, it really desaturates all the, all the top there. That actually does look quite nice. 
Maybe I should have graded it like that. But anyway, decided to go with a little bit more yellow on this one. But you can grade however you want, my dude. But uh, I really like this look. And it's really helped my style of grading. And hopefully you're not a, a real estate videographer in Brisbane because you'll uh, be stealing my look and I'll resent you for it. But um, either way, as I said, you can grab my node structure, link in the description. Let me know if you have any questions or if you got any value out of this. What was your favorite tip? Did I miss any tips? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.